my lovely Pisces. If you would like your own personal reading or one-to-one -one spiritual life coaching, you can email me. My email will be in the description box. So for you, somebody, somebody feels blocked and they're challenged by this. They can feel blocked out of your life. You could have put them on call block. Some of you, this could have been the cross watcher too, okay? So this, this reading is going to be important because you could be across this could be cross watcher energy or pisces energy um someone feels like they're they're in love with you they're in love with you and they're dying to see you they feel like you are not affected by the separation you're not affected you actually find it funny <laughs> you actually find this separation funny and you are just watching to see what they are going to do next all right so uh, this can be a temporary separation this can be somebody who said something to you and it pissed you off and you shut down you could have shut down because you were so angry and you just didn't feel like speaking to this person at all so you you shut down um spirit wants you to know that you are protected and don't be afraid to let any, anybody go if they're causing too much havoc or too much chaos in your life. Don't be afraid to let people go because at the end of the day, when one door closes, another door opens. Spirit doesn't want you to have a scarcity mindset when it comes to love because you can hold on to people out of fear and not even out of love and they're creating too much adversity for you on your path and your path can be way more smoother your path can be way more positive your path can be way more happy but if you are allowing weeds in your garden it's going to turn your garden bad that's what it looks like like you could even know that this person's not good for you but you have some type of attachment to them and it's the only reason why they're still around. There's some level of attachment to this person. Um, that's the biggest thing I, I, I hear. Another thing too, you could have felt as if you did so much for this person. So if they're chasing you now and if they're trying really hard, that can be your way of gratification. Like when I was coming for you, you wasn't even open to me. Now I'm not even paying you any attention and now you are going nuts and calling me from all kinds of numbers that's how you could feel in your heart and this is the only reason why you're entertaining it because you know that they want to see you you know that it can hurt them and that can be your way of getting satisfaction for what they've done to you some of you too you still love them that's another thing you're only you like the attention that they're giving because you know that they did wrong you like the attention but you could actually be afraid of them. <laughs> like, I like the attention. We can talk, we can text, but I don't want you coming near me. Because as soon as you come into my, my life, all kinds of stuff is going to start to go down. So that's the, that's the biggest thing that I see amongst you working. There's, there's, some type of en there's some type of person lingering in your energy and sometimes you respond, sometimes you just don't, or vice versa. There could be someone who, who blocked you. And if they blocked you, Pisces, be careful, because if you're reaching out to them, they get satisfaction from you wanting them, longing them, sending them paragraphs, and, and them just ignoring you. If you. Baby, be careful, because they can like that. They can like the fact that you are fighting for them, because it makes them feel important. So if that's you, Pisces, this person's intentionally keeping you at arm's length so that you could chase them, so that you can fight for them and so that you can make them feel good. And spirit is saying, like, let it go. You've done all that you can do. Let it go. You pouring out your heart to this person or doing anything more than what you've already done is not going to make them any better. So why not let it go like you did what you could do? Um, so it says spiritual acceleration and progress. You are growing, you are growing spiritually. 
And because of what you've been through in your life, you help a lot of people, a lot of people you help. Some of you, if you even have a regular, you know, nine to five job, um, I see you helping your coworkers. Your coworkers can come and vent to you about you guys can have private conversations about like your relationship when your supervisor, your boss is not around. That can be something that you guys do in order to fill the time before you have to go home <laughs> to make the time go quicker, to make the time go quicker at work. You guys have deep discussions about love and you can really love to help people because of what you've been through. It also shows high vibration. So if you are in a situation there was love and I want to tell you, you weren't in love all by yourself. You love this person, this person loved you, but there were some toxic behaviors in it that was preventing the connection from going further. And it, I don't know, like you guys could have had this arguing, this tick for tack, this blah, 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 blah. And you both were working out your karma together. This is why it was so tough. This person made you address the darker parts within yourself. That's why it was so tough. That's why you love them, but also it could have been a love-hate relationship. Like, oh, I can't stand them. They make me sick. But at the same time, you just love them so much. And it's because whatever fight you had within yourself, you were fighting it through this person and vice versa. So that's another thing, too. This person could have been trying to bring you down and you trying to bring them up. They're trying to bring you down with them. You were trying to go up. You both were fighting between your lower and your higher selves through each other. And you you finally made it on the other side. So now this is why you guys are separated. And even if you two come together, you will have a big explosion of emotions and go back into your own corners. You, you're no longer in alignment is basically what spirit is trying to show. Spiritual acceleration just means you evolved. People can't come with you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye they can't come so that's another thing too I, I know like so surrender to what is you could be fighting against what is like you wish that you can change your situation or change a person and you can't like what spirit is saying, like if go with the flow of what is instead of trying to fight what you can't change. This will be bring you peace. You're looking for peace. But if you want peace, surrender, surrender to exactly what is happening in your life um, and your fear of intimacy because of this person and they caused your life so much shit and so much havoc. And even though you still love this person to pieces, because you actually do, but that's a whole nother conversation. You're afraid of letting people get close to you. You let people only get but so close to you and then you block them out or you try to distract yourself so that you won't even have to deal with them. You do it on purpose because you have a fear of intimacy. You're afraid. You're afraid of allowing yourself to be vulnerable with a person and then they turn your world upside down again that's what the fear of intimacy is it's like you want love oh you're a fearful avoidant you're a fearful avoidant boo if you didn't know that now you know or you could be dealing with somebody who's a fearful avoidant and this is why every time you try to get close to them they close off and then they open up and then they close off and you're like damn because <laughs> they could be afraid they could be fearful of intimacy. So you just got to surrender the situation. Spirit also wants you to surrender to the magic of who you are. Remember that you are magic. You're, you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth. And with that comes you just being you. So surrender to the magic of who you are, not who you think you should be. So this is, yeah, you're going through a level up. So your transformation is all about this. You had a spiritual, a spiritual union that was causing you challenges, obstacles, and you're leveling up. You're leveling up when it comes to love and what, what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to not accept. 
you're also more intuitive. So it's like, if you even get a little confused about what is this person's intentions, you tapping into your intuition, your intuition is going to show you. So that just means what spirit is doing is all these obstacles and challenges that you used to go through and love, you leveled up from them. You don't have to worry about this fight no more. You're going to start to feel more safe with yourself. And in feeling more safe with yourself, you will feel safe with others. This is the transformation. This is the transformation that's taking place. You're going to feel so safe with your own self that when spirit brings you fearless love, you will receive it and accept it. And you're, you're going to be focused more on the new and rejecting anything that turns your world upside down emotionally. All right. Be careful where you leave your purse around or your money around. You don't want nobody to take your, your purse or your money or you're out and you're rushing and you leave your purse in a public place. Somebody will take your stuff. So just be aware of rushing. If you are dating someone right now, like right now, if that story didn't resonate with you and you're dating someone right now, they don't want to rush you, but they're getting a little anxious and scared because they don't think you like them the way that they like you. You seem more distant and distracted than you seem like you want them. They just, for some reason, if you're dating somebody new, they feel like you're disgusted with them or they wonder like, maybe I'm not your type. So you'll notice if this person comes back around you, they may try to like switch up their clothes. <laughs> you think me? That's not even funny, but it, it really is so funny for me. I'm trying not to laugh too hard, but, um, they're going to start to switch up their clothes for you in hopes that you would find them more attractive. Do you like them? Oh, surrender to your fear of intimacy. Even if you did like them, you wouldn't even know because you could be a person who plays down their emotions because you're so afraid of being hurt that you don't allow yourself to really feel feelings. <laughs> you don't allow yourself to feel feelings. You purposely withhold emotion so that you won't have to feel and this is probably why this person doesn't know where they stand with you because you just seem so unbothered you seem so emotionally unattached you seem like whatever if it works it works if it falls to shit it falls to shit and i don't give a damn <laughs> you just seem you seem like you don't care like that for real and they can feel that pisces let's see how your family sees you your family sees you as coming into balance let me see. Your family sees you as very balanced. They could have known who you used to be. You could have struggled emotionally in the past or had situations that caused your life to be scattered and difficult. And they can see you as more balanced. They can also see you as a person who has lots of options. And some family miss you like you haven't been around. Some of you could have moved. Or you could be working so much that you don't really have time for your family, but they, they miss you. And they feel like you give them hope. Some of you, you could be taking a break to invest more into yourself. Or some of you could be traveling. So let's see your love life. Your family also feels like you're more private. Like you're way more private now. It's hard for them to understand like, well... What what's up with you? They feel like you're more closed off. You don't really open up the way you used to. So they don't really know. Pisces, I'm just starting to notice a trend about you. A lot of people feel like you closed off. You don't trust people. You've been too betrayed, honey. Okay, so for your love life, you, you have a brand new beginning. Some of you are going to be changed. Oh, enough. Some of you are going to be changing the polish on your nails. You have a you have a new person. You have a new person that's coming into your life. Ace of Cups is all is always a brand new beginning in love. This person is gonna fall in love with you. And it's it's the simplest thing in the world. Like they fall in love with you because of how you treat them. You could have been really sweet to this person. You could have been patient. You could have handled them with this care that they can't get over. 
and they're chasing the feelings that you gave them. That's what they're doing. Someone is chasing the feelings. It could be an Aries. It can also be a Scorpio who's going through a change. They could be moving. They can be buying a new car or moving. And um, or it could be a cancer. Somebody who, who needs a lot of rest. Somebody who can also work out. They work out at the gym on their downtime and they need a lot of sleep. This is somebody who's trying to get energy. <laughs> like they're they're fighting to get energy. But if you were really sweet to them and you may feel like, oh, I treat everybody good. Nah, this person took it to their heart. Like they really valued what you what you brought them. It touched their soul. Baby, it, it touched the soul. This is this is how they see you. So you have somebody on the outside of your world trying to get back good with you. And then you have a brand new lover who is coming into your life or already here. This energy is here. Would have never came up in the present if it wasn't here already. It, it shows that this person is here, but you're probably not that open to them. They really respect you. Or you could tell them a little bit more about yourself or open up to them more over the weekend and this can make them really respect you because they didn't know they were jumping to conclusions they were they were making up all kinds of stories of what they thought you were going through and now they're like oh damn I respect you they even feel find you to be brave for even telling that level of truth like damn you know so they could have been judging you or like okay maybe I should just move on because Pisces is playing games. They could have accused you of playing games with them. They could have accused you of having someone else on the side, which you you could still be going back and forth with someone who's in your energy, but they were just jumping to their own conclusions about you. And you're going to tell them something that they're going to really like open their heart and like, wow, all this time, this is what you were really dealing with. I didn't know. Um, so that's, that's what's about to come into your world. Let me see. They love your honesty too. When you open up though, you're very, very honest. They could tell, they could feel it. You give this person spiritual chills. They love talking to you. That's one thing. Like, even if they go out on a date with you, they're going to be like, when are we going to go out again? <laughs> They're going to be so thirsty for your time and attention. They're going to want to know, like, when we're going to meet again, when we're going like, they're going to be yearning for the next time and the next time and next time. Let's see for work. You got a breakthrough. You have a financial breakthrough. What is this about? Something that's going to put you at ease. If you were, if you were um, promised a position and you could have been in fear because you're like, wait a minute. They said that they were going to give me this. I haven't heard from nobody. Or some of you could have went on an interview and you didn't hear from nobody. And you were just afraid. Like, damn, well, maybe they went with somebody else. They forgot to reach out to me. And and they do choose you. And you're in love. So it shows completion. If you're looking for a brand new job that you love, you're, th this that cycle is completed. There's a huge breakthrough. And you're going to be so happy. Like, yes, baby. I needed it. Some of you two could do like Uber on the side for extra cash. Whether like, I don't, like Uber Eats or Uber driving. You could do something else on the side for extra cash. But I see like the job that you truly want to invest in. And you see yourself with a future with you. It, you get it. So for you, Pisces, I'm going on to the extended, my love. I'm going to do a full spread on this new person. The, the person that I spoke about in the beginning of the reading that you are in separation from and could possibly be no no contact. I'm going to do a reading on them as well in the extended as well as your friends, your children. And if you are working for yourself, love and light.